हेलो बच्चो हेलो बच्चो हेलो बच्चो हेलो बच्चो हेलो बच्चो हेलो बच्चो एम आकाश यूर फिजिक्स मैंटर यूर फिजिक्स बडी एंड यूर फिजिक्स ब्रदर वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू से यू कैन कॉल मी आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द अमेजिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ फिजिक्स वाला वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक विद द awesome series of back to basics and we are going ahead with the rocking topic of the day and the topic of the day is the magnetic effect of electric current i think you all have learned different different phenomena related to electric current in previous lecture and i think you have go through the previous lecture and today i will teach you a different a new and a rocking concept of magnetic effect of electric current so i am akash your buddy with a new photo is showing my finger to what here so today we will learn a effect of electric current as we already know that electric current show different type of effect commonly it show three type of effect first is magnetic effect second is chemical effect and third is heating effect in the syllabus of class 10 there is a concise topic there is a important topic which is magnetic effect of electric current today in today daily life many electronic instrument like fan like cooler like electric vehicle there are different type of electric electronic instrument which are based on the same phenomena which are based on the same principle it is very important it is very necessary and it is very easy to learn because it is the effect of electric current and it is the phenomena which is commonly used worldwide so today we are going to learn again i am repeating magnetic effect of current so now let's start so i'm akash you are physics mentor you are physics buddy is i will teach you physics and i am here showing my thumb like that Be, why i'm showing my thumb like that? because I, we, we we are going to learn a topic and the topic is right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule that's why my thumb is pointing upward my uh, thumb is pointing upward because i will teach you right hand thumb rule and very easy very awesome and very shanda topic and again i welcome you in the series of back to basics we are where we are we will clear all the basics of class 9th and class 10th so now move this topic we are going to learn today before starting the class we will learn the topic magnetic field and then we will continue the same with magnetic field line and we will continue again the different types of magnetic field line so before starting the topic let me introduce you about the magnet what is a magnet what is a magnet magnet is a material which attract magnet is a material which attract magnetic things magnetic magnetic things which type of magnetic thing it attract sometime it attract cobalt sometime it attract, attract ferrous magnesium and etc magnet is a material which attract magnetic thing in other words sometime it show the phenomena of attraction sometime it show the phenomena of repulsion depends on the condition and uh, now it it is a bar magnet why it is a bar magnet bit caught because it is in the shape of a bar bar magnet is a magnet which is in the shape of a bar every magnet in this universe every magnet have two poles every magnet have two poles the first is north pole the first is north pole this is north pole and the another is south pole how we can define how can i distinguish between north pole and south pole there is a simple practical way take a magnet and suspend it with the help of frictionless and without air resistance suspend it with the help of frictionless thread and rotate it and free, uh, uh, before starting the experiment just keep one thing in mind this magnet should be free to rotate in the horizontal plane it sh it should be free to rotate in the horizontal plane so suspend it after some time it will rest between two poles the first is north pole and the second is south pole so in this universe every magnet have two poles the first is north pole and the second is south pole every magnet have two poles there is zero possibility of for this phenomena that a magnet have single pole because a single pole magnet cannot exist because every magnet have two poles the first is north pole and second is south pole so is it possible if i break this magnet in two part is it possible if i break this magnet in two parts in that way north pole and south pole will be 
the north north pole and south pole will be differentiate from each other in that condition the north pole is separated and south pole is separated too but this phenomena is not possible when i break this magnet into two parts in that way every piece of magnet create its own north pole and south pole because every magnet have every 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 i am talking about a small magnet maybe the size of a magnet equal to the size of electron but in that condition the magnet will have two poles north pole and south pole it it is not possible that a magnet have a single pole every magnet is complete magnet and this is called complementary magnet every magnet should have two poles and this magnet is called complementary magnet so why i am teaching you why i am explaining you the phenomena i am explaining you phenomena because 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 we are going to learn something interesting about magnetic field what is a magnetic field what is a magnetic field before going ahead which type of force being act by the magnet so before starting ahead just keep one thing is in my mind in mind between two north pole the force of repulsion act between them when assume let me consider this is the i have two magnet it is the north pole and it is the south pole if i try to make a contact between north and north pole in that way they will repel each other on the same way if i try to make an interaction between north and nor uh, south and south pole in that way they will repel each other it means when two same poles are brought near to each other two same poles are brought near to each other maybe north pole and maybe south pole in that condition in that way they will repel each other they will not attract each other they will rep repel each other on the contrary if i have two different poles the first is south pole and the second is north pole and if i try to make contact between them in that way which type of force will act between them and my answer is very simple the force of attraction will act between them because this phenomena tells tells that like pole like means same like pole like belongs to same same pole always repel each other the force of repulsion will act between them and in the condition of unlike pole in the condition of unlike pole unlike belongs to different pole in that condition the force of attraction act between them and these are the phenomena which we learn in class 6 and class 7 in the lower grade and these are the basic phenomena of magnetic field now what is a magnetic field now what is a magnetic field now consider a magnet that i have a magnet now consider a magnet i have a magnet and uh, which shape i will use the shape of bar magnet i will use the shape of bar magnet now 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 give me a second give me a second give me a second so i have a bar magnet i have a bar magnet and every magnet have two poles it means bar magnet will have also two poles if i take a another magnet near to it in that way this magnet will apply force on the secondary magnet this magnet will apply force on the second magnet the force may be attraction or repulsion if i place this magnet is this magnet here and that way no force will be applicable due to this magnet it means there is a space around the magnet where it can exert force on the another magnet this is ma this is magnetic field nothing else The, there is a space around the magnetic field there is a space around the magnet where it can exert force on the another magnet and this is this area this is space is called magnetic field there is a simple phenomena the force may be attraction the force may be repulsion depends on the condition so there is a space around the magnet there is a space around the magnet and where it can exert force on the another pole of magnetic field this space is called magnetic field commonly this space or this magnetic field is represented by b okay i think you got it the space around the magnet where it can exert force on the another magnet force may be attraction force may be repulsion and this space is called magnetic field okay now move ahead what is so what is the direction of magnetic field what is the direction of magnetic field to decide the direction of magnetic field 
to make stronger topic about the magnetic field we need to learn something awesome topic and before starting the awesome topic we just need to learn about a device and what is the name of the device the name of the device is compass the name of the device is compass compass is a device which is used to presence which is used to detect the presence of magnetic field what is the compass compass is a device which is used to detect the presence of magnetic field have you ever seen a compass yes we already know about the compass what is a compass compass is commonly used to define to find the direction and what is the principle of this compass and the principle of this compass is magnetic field there is a small magnet is placed uh, there is a small magnet placed between the two glasses and the magnet is free to rotate in its horizontal plane in that way it always stay in north and south direction then if i have a compass and in that condition it will always stay in geographical north and south direction if i place this compass here and it will affect the compass will affect by the magnetic field of this magnet and it will show the different deflection sometime it may show the deflection deflection outside the magnet and sometime it may show the deflection inside the magnet depends on the condition and we are going to learn this topic in the next slide so what is a compass compass is a device which is used to find the presence which is used to check the presence of magnetic field it means earth have magnetic field too na it means earth have magnetic field too na because it is showing deflection due to the magnetic field of earth and what is the direction of deflection due to magnetic field of earth and the direction of deflection uh, due to magnetic field of earth is north to south when it is brought near to the magnet in that way it will show deflection in the other direction and which direction it will show deflection and we are going to continue the same in the next topic and the topic is magnetic field line so consider consider a bar magnet i have a bar magnet and it is north pole it is south pole if i place if i place a compass the tip the deflector of the compass will show outward direction will show outward direction if i draw a point here if i draw a point here and that is the point if i place the uh, compass here it will show deflection in uh, some other direction if i show if i put my compass here it, then it will show deflection in another direction if i put it if i put it here and i will do it in finite time in that way you can see there is a shape of curve there is a shape of curve there is a line that is called magnetic lines of force and it may be infinite in number it may be infinite in number it may be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 and crores are infinite in number so what is the direction of magnetic lines the direction of magnetic lines is from north to south what is the direction of magnetic lines it is from north to south outside the magnet outside the magnet but inside the magnet it is south to north it is south to north by this there is a new phenomena which is shown by this diagram that the phenomena is that there is a close curve there is a close curve is made by the magnetic field lines and what is the direction of magnetic field line the direction of magnetic field line is north to south south that is outside the magnet but if i talk about inside the magnet and that is this is south to north i think the concept is clear so where the lines is denser where the lines are denser the magnetic field is higher where the lines are rarer the magnetic fields is comparatively low comparatively low and how i am going to define this lines how i am going to define this lines so just take a point just take a point and draw a tangent with respect to that point and this tangent will show the direction of magnetic field on this respective point on this respective point if i try to draw a tangent here and this is the tangent and it is the direction of magnetic field 
it is the direction of magnetic field so a tangent drawn on tangent drawn at any point so the direction of magnetic field of this point of this point okay i think you got it it may be infinite in number the direction of magnetic field lines is out from negative uh, sorry north to south from north to south that is outside the magnet but inside the magnet it is south to north they are close curve they may be infinite in number there is a important point and the point is that two magnetic lines never intersect each other because at the intersection point two direction two direction of magnetic field will be obtained which is not possible because magnetic field have, have a specific direction magnetic field always move in a specific direction if two magnetic lines intersect each other in that condition two tangent may be drawn when two tangent are drawn then two direction will be shown there but it is not possible and that is the reason two magnetic lines never intersect each other so now move to the next direction of field line we already know that what is the direction of field line that is north to south and it is outside the magnet and uh, south to north and that is inside the magnet now we all know about the phenomena now what is magnetic effect of current now we all know about the magnetism we all know about the magnetic field line now we are going to colorate we are going to connect the same topic with the electric current before starting just take a revision just take a recap of the electric current what is electric current electric current is basically flow of electron it is due to flow of electron the direction of electric current is high potential to low potential but the direction of flow of electron is low potential to high potential and for more information just have a look on the previous lecture okay so magnetic effect of current in 1820 there is a famous scientist and the name of the scientist is henry christian or state henry christian or state then an experiment on that he took a wire he took a wire and a current flow from the wire and for the experiment there is a special type of device which is used to find the presence of electric sorry which is used to find the presence of magnetic field and the name of the device is compass he took a compass and we already know that the direction of compass is always showing from the north to south and if i brought this compass near to this current carrying wire it showed deflection in some other direction it means there is a setup of magnetic field around this there is a setup of magnetic field around this wire and this effect is called magnetic effect of current this effect is called magnetic effect of current this effect of current was discovered by a famous scientist that is s henry christian or state in around it was i think 1820 or 1828 i am not sure about the uh, year of establishment so whenever current flow through any type of conductor there is a set up of magnetic field around this conductor and there is a device which is commonly used to detect the presence of electric current and the name of the device is magnetic compass and when the magnetic compass is brought near to this wire it shows deflection in some other direction except north to south it means it is affected by a magnetic field it is affected by a magnetic field of this wire and this experiment show that there is a magnetic field around a current carrying conductor and this is called magnetic effect of current very important effect very awesome effect very easy effect okay now let's me explain you some another effect some another important concept of magnetic effect of current so the first is that i have a current carrying conductor when there is no current then the deflector which is brought near to it is always showing its pointer toward north to south suddenly i start flow of current through this wire in that way the pointer of this deflector will show deflection in some other direction it means there is a setup of magnetic field around the conductor whenever current start flowing from it 
when there is no current when there is no magnetic field when there is a flow of current there is a setup of magnetic field around this wire and this effect is called magnetic effect of current okay what if i increase the magnitude of the current what if i increase the magnitude of current which is flowing through this wire in that way deflection in that way deflection will also increase deflection will also increase in this compass it show that higher the rate of current higher the rate of current higher the production of higher the generation of higher the induction of magnetic field around this fire so if i increase the magnitude of electric current flowing through the wire then the amount of magnetic field which is around the this wire is also increases i think we got it so where the magnetic effect of electric current the concept of magnetic magnetic effect of current is applicable commonly it is used in making electromagnet and now we already know that it is be acting like a magnet it is acting like a magnet when current flow through it then there is a setup of magnetic field it means it is acting like a magnet so if i increase the amount of electric current in that way the setup of magnetic field is also increases so with the help of this phenomena we can easily make electromagnet so let me take an example here so just take a piece of soft iron uh, so it is a piece of soft iron it is a piece of soft iron and copper wire is wounded commonly the wire may be copper made by copper and it may be made by aluminium and the copper or aluminium wire is wounded on it whenever 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 current flow through it whenever current flow through it in that way the piece which is made by soft iron act like a bar magnet it act like a bar magnet so that is the flow of current that is the flow of current that is the flow of current how we can find the polarity of this magnet how we can find the polarity of this magnet there is a simple way now we already know that if i wound the wire if i wound the wire in that way current will flow clockwise or maybe it can flow anti clockwise so just have a look on the track when current flow in that direction then it is south then current flow in clockwise direction then this area will act as south pole what if current flow what if current flow in anti clockwise direction in that way it will behave like north pole so where the current is clockwise and it will act like south pole and where the current is anti clockwise and this area will act like north pole i think the concept is clear to you now move to the next right hand thumb rule now let me show you my right hand and i'm showing my right hand here why i was showing uh, showing my right hand there because we are going to learn the right hand thumb rule the first thing is that before starting the right hand thumb rule let me tell you what is the use of right hand thumb rule now we already know that whenever the electric current flow through the wire then there is a setup of magnetic field around this wire and this phenomena is called magnetic effect of current what is the direction of this magnetic field what is the direction of this magnetic field how we can find how we can detect how we can check the direction of magnetic field there is a simple trick for this there is a awesome and simple trick for this and the trick itself say that show the thumb show the thumb and always remember that always use the thumb of right hand always use the thumb of right hand so uh, it is my right hand it is my right hand it is my right hand show the thumb towards the direction of current bus what we need to do show the thumb in the direction of magnetic field in that condition the curl of my fingers as you already know that if i'm if my thumb is showing in upward direction then my fingers is bending in that direction my fingers are bending in that it cannot be bending in opposite direction because i'm i have not flexible hand so my fingers will bend in that direction my fingers will bend in that direction in that direction 
एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ कर्ल ऑफ माई फिंगर इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सिंपल ना सिंपल ना सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ राइट हैंड थम रूल वी कैन फाइंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अराउंड द करेंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस लॉ वी कैन ईजिली फाइंड दैट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू जस्ट शो द थम अंगूठा दिखाओ इन हिंदी दैट इज अंगूठा दिखाओ और डायरेक्शन पाओ ठीक सो शो द थम एंड टेक द डायरेक्शन दैट इज अ सिंपल सो इफ आई पुट माई थम इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट देन द कर्ल देन द कर्ल देन द बैंडिंग देन द कर्ल ऑफ दिस फिंगर विल शो द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो वॉट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लेट मी टेक एन एग्जाम्पल एंड विद द एग्जाम्पल दिस टॉपिक इज विल बी क्रिस्टल क्लियर टू यू now let me take a wire it is the wire it is the wire it is the wire okay with the help of this we are going to understand the concept of magnetic field and it is the curl of magnetic field it is the space where magnetic field is generated now we need to find the direction of magnetic field as we already know that the magnetic field is always in the form of closed curve and the direction if i talk about if there will be direction and what is the direction i forget you can answer in the comment box so if current flow in upward direction what i need to do i just need to show my thumb in the direction of current and the curl of this finger and the curl of this finger and it is the direction of curl of my fingers and the curl of my fingers will show the direction of magnetic field and this is the direction of magnetic field and in that way it is the direction of magnetic field there is a simple phenomena there is a simple use of the right hand thumb rule so i think the topic is crystal clear to you i think the topic is clear to you and what is next next is thank you thank you bachu thank you bachu thank you bachu to see this lecture thank you bachu to get this concept and we will continue the same we will continue the more topic and we will continue the applications of magnetic field like we will learn electric bell we will learn electromagnet we will learn different type of application of magnetic field in the next classes till then tata bye bye and love you all my bachcho and keep rocking keep shocking and be awesome bye bachcho bye